everyone welcome to toy talks to all our beautiful subscribers we say thank you so much for staying with us and uh, you are new here we are happy you find us please don't forget to like subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell so you will be notified for more upcoming videos in the comment section please no derogatory comments thank you all for watching till i will see you in my next videos never take what does not belong to you i said you can make it without stealing or duping anybody legitimately yes you may not have too much you may not be you may not be Elon Musk. you may not be any Musk. you may not be uh but you will have enough if you have this brain so i was telling them i said there are some things that open your eyes if you are not under bondage or if you have not put yourself in trouble by going under these wicked people calling themselves pastors i said there are so many opportunities they hinder people from and once you go and get yourself under them too much they will be the one to tell you what to do how to think what to think i said if you are on your own your brain opens if you are not the type that you are a dollar except you are a dollar your brain opens ideas will come opportunities will come but once you have gotten yourself entangled if opportunity comes how do you do it people will bring business proposal they will bring business opportunities even if you are doing business you see another one you want to do it you want to have this you want to have this but if you are entangled as a full-time pastor or as a full-time nonsense that whatever you call people call it i don't even care if they are giving you one million if anybody can give you one million to work for him that means you can make that more than that million working for yourself that means there's something in your brain but for somebody to offer you fifty thousand, that means that person sees you as a nobody that person sees you as somebody who doesn't have brain that person sees you as somebody that in dobe is not functioning anymore because if your brain is functioning you will not resign a job to go and take a full-time peace minister job where you'll be getting fifty thousand. let's even say you are a gate man you are still better off than saying you don't want to be a gate man again and you want to go and be a full-time pastor and be collecting fifty thousand. it's just because in that country we feel some jobs we can't do it i am this i am that i cannot do it you start from somewhere yes somebody will not carry you and say oh yeah you are a full-time pastor cage you you that you are educated your wife is educated it's not as if you guys are if you are illiterate they will not make you pastor your parents sent you to school for a purpose your parents asked you to go to school so that your life can be better than their lives you now go and get yourself involved where your parents will look you and start crying where you have become useless to yourself to your wife to your husband and even to your children all in the name of i am a full-time pastor all in the name of i am a pastor under somebody that person is telling you you do not have brain your going to school is useless your parents wasted money sending you to school that is what that person is telling you and you have proved that you are a dollar when you went to school because if not you will not resign a job to go and be a full-time for a man at the end of the month let's even say your branch is not doing well let's say every month every week all your branch is bringing in is twenty thousand. you heard when this man this white emperor he said they were unproductive. Full-time beggars. God bless you, my sister. He said they were unproductive. He said he does not want, he want any unproductive people around him. He said he doesn't need any, any.
anybody with a, a productive brain after he has used you to gather many other eru. He made sure you gather a lot of people that are already under his hypnotism. He now look, look. He said, no, these ones are not bringing in enough money. The same way they do where I'm coming from too. Let me tell you the secret of where I left. The that place that I left, you know them, my ex-family. They will look at you. If you are the type of person who has a... Um, Swagger, you have some little change, you dress well. They will say you are part of the people to go and start a parish. Once you start that parish, you are starting that parish with your money, except they have changed now. In those days, you are, yeah, you know, my ex family, ha, huh? you are starting the parish with your money, you are starting the parish. With your wahala and everything, you will be the one to buy keyboard, buy all those instruments, drum and everything. God help you. There is no space. You are the one that will rent space. You are the one that will pay. Uh, will be paying rent. You are the one that will be paying workers until you stabilize. The offering and tithe and everything, you send it to the headquarters. You are not to touch it. Now, if they now see that okay you have gathered some people but enough money is not coming they will now join the parishes together or they call you and ask you to come back they don't directly tell you the way this man called his own members and say they are unproductive they will tell you they are trying to manage the parish together but as a then by the time they are doing that maybe one year or two years after you will have spent your money I was, I, I, it's what I experienced twice. You would have spent your money in that, that your money is gone and gone. That is the kind of wasteful life that we got ourselves involved. And today, many of us are crying a milokon. Motiri, we are crying a milokon today. Yes, I know the country is bad. I am not talking of what the country has become now. I am talking of how we individually ruin our financial lives by ourselves in the process of we are involved with these people. Now, I'm going to read something for you. Inside the man, man, de, man, man is dating, man they dates. I want to read what is inside it for you they've reviewed it they've done a lot of changes <laughs> there is no peace for the wicked if you are hearing so under the amount they did something has been reviewed and according to them every sunday service Owes on Sundays, except in nations where Sundays are not observed as work free day. Weekday must hold with fasting and holy communion. Midweek prayer and fasting must hold along with holy communion. Olagbara. There is still another one of the Amanda dates I want to come and read for you. Then they have this covenant. Our Monday to Saturday, they have satellite fellowship that holds in members' houses every Saturday evening. Then on Sunday, you still have to be there. Then they have special services, monthly Sunday special communion service every second Sunday. They have monthly Sunday special anointing every third sunday they have monthly thanksgiving where you pay money special money then they have another monthly week of spiritual emphasis that is first wednesday to friday of every month there is no peace for the wicked as a full-time pastor so these are the things you will be doing 
when your mates are making money to better the lives of their children. Eh, the pay I ain't see what he do, what he do, oh, you know, be good guru. And in the long bar mandate to foot and bar. So these are the things you go and get your life involved. When your mates with their little children are thinking of how to better the lives of their children, this is what you'll be thinking of Monday to Saturday, Tuesday to just Sunday, all through the week. Okay, continue. So every then another monthly, I'm coming Moladeno, monthly week of spiritual emphasis. That is first Wednesday to Friday of every month. They said it's for the advancement of the kingdom. Advancement of the kingdom of God. Advancement of our kingdom to bring more people so that there will be more money. From next week, we will start streaming on TikTok. <laughs> I'm on Facebook now, Facebook and YouTube. I, a lot of people are on my neck to come to TikTok from next week. I hope I will not forget. From next week, okay? That's, that's the best I can do next week. I promise you guys. From next week, we'll go to TikTok. I'm only on Facebook and YouTube now. I know people are saying, please come to TikTok. Come to we'll come to TikTok. TikTok here. Yeah, I don't know when my photo fish me. I'm coming here. Okay, let's go on. Then periodically there is feet washing every January, every April, and every September. You will do feet washing. It be not in sweat any more pa. Abajo, no wonder that I felt who sorry pay Jimmy. Ah, what if we say ye? They don't tie in the leg. They don't tie your brain. Tie them with your leg. You can never reason. Forget it. As long as you have been part of all these things we are reading, you can never be normal. And you read your delay. Abajo, I felt who sorry pay Jimmy. One man soon could sorry pay Jimmy. Oh, when you let him at the comment section, Abajo. Again, see me. All right, let's go on. So, periodically feet washing every January, April, and September. Periodically blood or sprinkling. Periodically feet um, blood or sprinkling. And that boy, um, blood and um, washing and blood sprinkling. You can never take it. You can never remain the same. Abajo. Abajo. Tini ti ba yi e ti wogao. When you dey enter, if you dey here, show me bonu e show me lucky. All of my yomi o. All of my sherry alone shebi. Ah. Show me bonu e show me lucky. The hotel way. All of you. And you only come here to sodu. And you only man the day to sodu. And you know, I pledge allegiance. I pledge to Nigeria my country. But I want to be your mates. Your mates are pledging allegiance to America. I pledge allegiance to the United States of America. Can you want that are you more? And you don't pledge allegiance to the God of uh, White Emperor. All of our bad people. Abajo. See our pastor. What are you doing? Yeah, you might do, you might get ready. Ah, Abajo, after 40 something years, what for a long mugo? After 40 years, especially when they give a mugo, it resembles driver. I mean, you see that papa when they give a mugo? As he look, one of those papa, the other one, now because he get connection. He don't know people for Abuja. That is why whole life better small. You see the other one where they give a mugo. Go and look at his picture very well. Now so the man be like Tisha Oko. Show boy no show lucky. Eti tara you see no Oko eru tomo tomo. Love my baby girl. Okay, let's go. I don't look for trouble too much. So periodically. Blood of sprinkling every January, May, and October. Then, end of year service. Annual 21 days of prayer and fasting. January of every year. January, when the world felicitates. Ever love and like. 
Kindly love and like and share. Share to your friends. Come to log man date is so do. <laughs> share to your family and friends before they will go and take a uh, mandate is so now and say somebody said, "Hey, your clit is a bad job." Oh, okay. You already have been with what is a bad job. <laughs> you better share to your family before they will go and collect mandate and go and pledge. Allegiance where they are not supposed to pledge. You are pledging allegiance to the God of somebody. See you, buddy. Some of you have entered this thing. Hello, you have entered. You have entered what you don't know. See you, buddy. You tomo tomo. Anyway, make with the read go. Eh. Hey. Annual 21 days fasting and prayer every January. The content of a typical Sunday midweek was was will be services. Okay, we'll go in your mm. Let's go on. There's another one. So according to the Monday dates, they have strategic evangelism. Let's look for a Bring more people. Bring more people. The more people, the more money. The more people, the more money. The more people, the more power. Just go and gather. Lori 50,000. And then um, they now try, you know, in case the people will say we don't have money for transportation. Just come, they provided special transportation system and gave it a name that is a bringing in strategy. Oh, they actually wrote it here. There is the bringing in strategy that we must engage in in order to enhance the replication of cells. The transportation is actually for is actually a strategy, they wrote it there inside the mandates. Remember, this mandate date that I'm reading is for insider it just got to my own hand it's not meant for the public it's not even meant for the members it's meant for the uh the fifty thousand collectors they are the one that has this mandate date it is for them alone so they specifically wrote it there that there is the, bring, the bringing in strategy that we must in engage in in order to enhance the replication of cells we have a responsibility to bring in those who cannot come on their own through a cell, through a cell system. We are members are encouraged to air brethren who may be challenged by offering them vacant seats in their vehicle or assisting them to pay transportation costs. They are not even the one to provide the transportation costs. It's people that is still in the church that are going to sell fellowship that will still gather money to pay for transportation so that means those transportation that we are seeing are not actually free shorty yeah i hope you understand those transportation are not actually free they have the strategy they use so that the more people the more money the more people the more crowd the more crowd the more power it is not for anybody's benefit. It is to their own benefit and control. Remember we brought a professor that was talking on religion for us. That professor said all these things is for control and power and money and to impoverize people. And it's exactly playing out. If not, how will somebody tell somebody, go and drop your certificates that you went to school for and come and be a full-time pastor and be collecting fifty thousand dollar eh uh, fifty thousand hello lowo nigeria eh uh, uh, fifty thousand what is our denomination again fifty thousand naira if not that are you somebody will now tell you drop your certificates Drop your education. The day this man was telling his members, he said, drop your intellect. Now that day I know, say this man, no way. Sorry to use that word. How can you tell full-grown adults? 
educated, masters older, PhD older, chief executive of your officers to say they should drop their intellects and listen to you. Which guy will tomorrow be that? He said, drop your intellects and listen to me. I said, really? Really? Then why did my parents send me to school? Why do I have brain? Then I don't need to, I don't need to have a brain then if I have to listen to you. What is the essence of my brain? What is the usefulness of my brain? And I'm sure it is one of the things he was telling his members. Especially these people who have gone to sign mandate dates, who have gone to pledge allegiance. He will tell them, drop your intellect. Do not reason it. You cannot think. When they start $30 in that... <laughs> Somebody said it's thirty dollars, Ebeka. You can imagine, and these are people probably will have had opportunity to probably better their lives. Thirty dollar, thirty dollar every month. Okay. Drop your intellect. And listen to me. You cannot understand the things of the spirits. How do we say this? Be careful out there. Um, this guy, um, Abel Damina was talking on communion. I now posted it. Somebody now said it doesn't matter that my communion is part of church. I say not anymore. What is the essence of the communion? Especially among our people. I said if there is any place I can never take it. Let me say I want to even take it. I will never stay under any pastor in Nigeria or Nigerian pastor all over the world. And collect any communion from them. Allah Majia Jeje Kuje. What is the communion for? What has it done? What changes has it brought to anybody's life? All the people that have been eating this communion every some you know, some eat it every Sunday under these pastors. Some every every first Sunday. I remember in those days we do it every first Sunday of uh, of the month after th on the Thanksgiving day. You go to church twice on Thanksgiving day. You will go in the morning after Thanksgiving in the evening. You go back and collect. You will do the communion in the evening. And tell you, I'm now suffering what you are saying here. My partner is inside their pockets. Communion, communion. Some people were arguing with Abel. Argue it from, from now till tomorrow. Everybody do whatever pleases you. Wabai ru anybody. Many are groaning. Many are crying. I brought out a video where one woman was exposing their wickedness. People said the woman was lying. I said, really? She brought her face out. She didn't hide her face. They didn't allow that video to go. Good enough, there is reason to refer to the video again. So I brought it out. I went to look for it on my YouTube page. This is why it is good to keep all these videos. If not, they would deny. They would deny that it never happened. The woman said, even the money they are supposed to pay them, there are still some pa pastors that will hijack that money. Despite that the money is nothing, some pastor will still hijack it and go and put it somewhere. The way some um, or guy, the, your guy in companies will take money and go and fix it somewhere and they will not pay salary on time to collect the interest. They do that in civil service too. They will collect the money and go and fix it somewhere, collect interest on it before they will pay salary. So they were having three months backlog. 
three months salary backlog for people that they are paying just peanuts money that cannot even take care of them for one week how can you live with the present even before now before now when i was in nigeria 12 13 years ago my children when i'm doing shopping i know how much i do that fifty thousand cannot even feed us for a month when money was still good and that is the amount people are collecting <laughs> so i'm coming you hold on please now this is the mandates monday dates Iwo tan wa paro ki fe fi dala ori eye ni o pe ye ori eye ni o pe ye ori eye ni o pe ye Michael Ogundu who did I mention your name who is taking me to court Are you white emperor Are you white emperor What need is arising to go to court who is taking Ti e duro no ta le fi court deruba your papa cannot come to America. You don't know. <laughs> let me tell you something. I don't know who you are talking of. But I, let me tell you something. White emperor cannot come to court. Cannot come to America. You see and they travel. If you won't fight me, he has to come to America to come and take me to court by himself. The white emperor. This white emperor. They no bond and make it go UK. UK they wait for him and in Pekin. In first, in first son. Let him go to UK. They will not arrest him. I mean, you don't know say he run from UK. When they are they arrest them, charity commission. Oh, I will learn Halemo. I will learn Halemo. He cannot come to America. Even in Peking, we come America, then deny him paper. Prayer, no do the paper. Then deny him. They don't give him paper. Now only wife then give paper. It's one of the reasons why he go back. They don't give her paper. Pray and don't do the paper for her. The same people that will tell you to be praying for paper. Ask them how they get their own paper too. That yeah, they will tell you some things are seen. Ask them how they take the paper. He cannot call. If he can come, let him carry in private jet and come and meet me. <laughs> he cannot call. What are you defending? Now your name be White Emperor. Is your name White Emperor? Is your name White Emperor? I be you know anybody where they be a White Emperor? You know anybody where they do Monday dates? I be now you get the Monday dates where they read. Go and prove it. Now Monday dates. Sabaru mo shele boni wa asare. All right, let us read Monday dates for the full time, full time mumu. Let us read Monday dates. Where then they carry give fifty thousand naira salary ena. <laughs> Graduate where they collect fifty thousand naira. <laughs> Let us read the Monday date for the fifty thousand dollars salary. Either. When they are made, they collect ten thousand dollars in America, eight thousand dollars per month. And you come and joke alone by fifty thousand, fifty thousand, fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> I, I the baby people plenty. Oh, I'm going to see you on YouTube. I'm not reading comments, so continue. Our full time mumu purity. <laughs> Let us read Monday dates. Where they carry give? I pledge allegiance to the God of uh, White Emperor. To be, to be faithful and honest, to obey Monday dates at all times, and to go and bring more eru, and to do whatever Monday dates they say. To so continue to be under him, never to rise above him. Allah might but a me, You don't see person where they under person where they rise above the person. Except you jackpot. If you know jackpot, you can never rise above him. Lie lie. 
That is the Monday date that you went to go and pledge. You have pledged. That is why those people, those people, where do a move go? Where they discharge? That is why when they discharge them, they can never be better than him. It is what they signed for. It is what they pledged for. It is what they entered into. The, 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 the convenance. When they say something is convenience, you don't know what is convenience. Go and read. Go and know what is English before you go and enter something. When you enter a covenant, you are pledging. It's like pledging something to this place. I say anything being as I don't pledge. I have to choose this place above Nigeria. Now so, when you don't go ple pledge your allegiance to be 50,000 naira salary here as you correct the 50,000 naira, that means you can never, now you and your children, Emma Sheru Kuni, now means you can go carry, make you can go and talk with you, and no savvy, that I want to you, when the truth knock you in the face, they always pain you, and the truth they say is bitter, hmm, oh bitter baje, again, she can see you to change the glasses in Ah, this is the class I'm supposed to use. I forgot my favorite Monday dates. Anyway, let us go on, Jerry. Talora, you go good My dad, can you defend the call? Let him come to America if he won't come. I want only travel to want to want to Anyway, so according to the Monday date for the. Ah, no be small change then they put for Nalego. Yeah, glasses you clear, Dada. The only oh, it's weak, yellow man better. Ah, ah. There, this is when they go put in your hand for this. <laughs> Should I read it or we suspend it and read it another time? Check our call. Can we continue? Ah, ah, ah. Eli, well, any of you Ha! 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 Egba mi o! Egba mi! Ha! 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 Anything by Nude? It of a jabo. Ah, women. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, women. You are watching your husband sign this kind of thing. Ah. Please. If you are a woman, come here, come here, come here. Come here, if you are a woman, if you might meet any man and say I'm going to be a full-time minister, run, oh, run. Ah, <laughs> okay, let's let me see if you can finish it. Ah, this is what you guys go and sign. It's not funny, oh. Again, you go. This is a serious matter. This is a serious matter. Glasses, you don't see. Okay. One of the things they are signing. Once you go and until you lay in then carry what I put on top of your head. Anyway, under the mandate dates, once you sign to be a full time minister, number one, you must not hold any political office. Number two, you must not participate in anything that is against the government. No wonder. No wonder. Number three, you must not engage in anything political issues. Ah! Baba Ibaya will your jepo. Ah! 
Number four, you must not append your signature to anything anti-government. Number five, you must not attend any political meeting. Ah. Number six, you must not pledge allegiance to any political party. Or you must not declare it publicly. Monday deity. Baba white emperor. Emma baye nje o. Ah. Ele iwa le ni o sinko. Ti awon ya wo yen lo she mila anuju. Hala ma jafai ba. You better shine your eyes as a woman. You are better as a, as a single woman. Than to go and marry. Olori buruku person. Than to go and say I'm a full time minister. Ta wa swa ye da kushe. Number six. Number seven. You must not make any public media utterances on behalf of the ministry. Consequence of the above, any member, group, or was was be was was will be leader, ordained, or pastor who seek to participate in this all these things above will be expected to resign, step down, and all the roles they are playing in the church will be taken away from them. So that they can do whatever they want. Anyway, um, secular business, what are they allowed to do? Can they work? Are they allowed to have another work apart from the full-time minister? What are the job they are allowed to do? What and what are they allowed? What is the limitation? What is the boundary that is set for them? Now let us start. May I adjust my glasses very well? <laughs> Where is Roti Me? No wonder Roti Me is always coming for that man. I learned Roti Me has this mandate. But he carry. All the full time minister, pastors must. Be about father's business without distraction. Sure, you guys are hearing me. Oh, a little while and you think on the following provisions, therefore, apply to all full time ministers. Number one, you shall not engage in any secular business. She was a punk parody. If it's a major considered information, Mama Abawa. Now, here we go sit down. Where information go they come? Can you hear me? Aha. Uh -huh. So number one, I don't read number one. Number two, you shall not. No, number one, you shall not engage in any secular business as a sole owner or partnership. You cannot have your own business. You cannot have any job. You cannot even be in partnership with anybody. Eh, hey, but let them yo. Hey, 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 you cannot even sell any markets. You cannot even do any other business. All you will do in your life is to wake up, read Bible. Anytime they call you for a meeting, you go for a meeting. In other words, they own your life and the lives of your children and generations yet unborn. Eje Kadurobi, Eva Jaso Wogwe Toledi. Eje Kifuji Suspension. Have you your cushion part two? What if I marry me? What if I marry Ah! Can't be a silly to marry. The list is long. We can't finish it. It's long. Because I've not, I've only read number two of the one for the men. Oh, you go. Even marital conditions. Ah! 
Uma shiu. Uma shiu. Ah, oh, uno one defend the money. I won't warn you on near no tear fee on people is shiro. Yeah, go share less in Yeah, you are you didn't get involved, it didn't affect you, or probably you got involved and you were able to pull out. Who are the people? It's still very long. There's still so many, even there is one concerning their wives. Their wives are involved too. Okay, let's see how far we can go. This is serious. This is serious. Number three, you shall not be involved. I've, I've mentioned that you shall not be involved in buying and selling. You shall not even involve in secular job. You can't work. You only collect that 50000 and that is what your life is based on. Number three, you shall not be involved in any capital investment or money market that requires personal presence or attention, registered company or office. Ah. Don't mention name on my page. We are not mentioning names. Sorry. I started this series and I said people should decode. You have to decode. Okay, somebody. Veronica. Okay, you want to share your story with me? You can reach me on, I have a number on Facebook. My number, I don't know it's often, it's there. On my, this thing, you can reach me on that number. I... Yes, now on the shisha, they can't. They can't work. They can't do business. They can't work. They can't even invest. That is the last part I just read now. They cannot even invest. They cannot even invest. <laughs> Number four. You shall not grants any commercial consultancy for remuneration purpose so even if you see somebody that will want to benefit you to ask i come and do something for me i will pay you you are not even allowed to do it that means you cannot earn any extra money apart from the money they are giving you it is like crippling you paralyzing your life your life depends on the measurements they give and that is it Uh, you shall not be involved in gambling, lottery, loto, or any game of chance for the purpose of financial gain. You shall not expend any portion of your time for the purpose of commercializing or for financial gain. That means they own your time 24 hours, 7 days a week, 30 days a month, 365 days a year, as many years as you can stay with them. And that is why you see those Omugo, the, the favorite Omugo too, their life was on standstill. The wife of one of them wanted to set, set them, their family free. Somebody said, but they have shares all over the world. Not only shares, they have investments all over the world. They have investments all over the world. Money in offshore accounts. In other words, you cannot do any other thing. 24 hours is for them. 7 days for them. 30 days for them. So the days you are not with them, be sleeping. Sorry to use that word. And you go in only. You go that point and say, to go and collect that kind of thing. Everyone suku. Some of you are now coming out that they are not doing you well. You are, go and read comments. You are saying that they are, they are, you are suffering. Hey, it is so far. How long things to you by you with what is going on? Anybody remain with your problem? Yeah, yeah, I'm a finish. Hey, I want go pastors. <laughs> you have given me something to use for my my reel. I'm a go pastor. I will use it for for real. Those short short reel I'm dropping now. The I'm go pastors. 
Anyway, let's go on. Give me time. Ah, time's in law. Anyway, then marital sanctity. You must maintain your marital sanctity. Then secondly, you shall not be considered eligible in the case of divorce. Now, intimidation and harassment of the flock. Okay, in your really necessary. So let's go to the wives, their wives' own. Aha. Now they have a Monday dates for even ordinary members. They have Monday dates for ordinary members. That is even as an ordinary members that wants to come in and go. You are not even allowed. They don't want that. In the, in the Monday dates, they wrote in a church where some members are in, in three or more different service groups. Why should anyone sit down doing nothing and expect wonders to happen? The altar chairs are reserved for officiating ministers and only pastor ministering in any particular service shall occupy them. Therefore, no seat shall be reserved for pastors' spouses, except where such are ordained pastors in the church and are participating in a particular service or where specific directives are given to the contrary, we shall be communicated in writing from the appropriate authority. No wonder, if you go and look, you will see saying that men, the full front, we know they see them with their wives. So if your wife is not ordained, you can't sit with you, you see differently. So employment opportunity for spouse partners. So if you are a man, and your wife is full um, full time. There is condition. If you are a man, you are the pastor, and your wife is the wife. No, if you are a man, you are the full time. The condition for your wife. Or if you are a woman, but I don't think any man will agree that nonsense from any woman. Now women will collect that nonsense. Where we say because your husband be a minister, now that one will still guide your own life. No wonder some women they suffer. Now let us look at the condition. For their spouses. Okay, somebody confirmed that the pastor's wife sits with the congregation on YouTube. They are